Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. This is going to be a totally different type of video than you are used to. It's actually going to be one of the first vlogs that we've ever done here on the Firearm Freedom channel. This is going to be kind of a holiday special video because I am going to be traveling up to New York during it to go visit some family for the holidays. And this video topic is going to be about growing up being involved in firearms, enjoying firearms, and wanting to own firearms in the state of New York where I am from. So what better way to show you that than actually going to New York? This is going to be a really interesting vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and check out the last thing that I always do after we pack to head back up to New York. And it's also my least favorite thing about going. So unfortunately guys, as you could have guessed, I cannot bring my concealed carry VP9 to the state of New York with me. So my least favorite thing that I have to do is unload this guy and leave it here. Ironically, I live in a pretty safe area and where I used to live in New York is a not so safe area, but because of the crazy logs, I can't bring this guy with me. So let's go ahead, finish packing up the car and we'll head on our way. All right, so the interesting thing about actually doing vlogs, being a firearm channel, is actually still trying to keep the privacy aspect of your life. Obviously, I do own a lot of interesting things, and a lot of those things are firearms. So because of that, normally in a regular everyday vlog, you would get kind of cool shots of your house, your layout, walking through the hallway, your apartment complex, or whatever. But if you are a firearm YouTube channel, it starts to get a little bit interesting on what you kind of want to show and don't want to show to still keep your privacy. You may notice some things I'm not going to show and that's simply just going to be to keep the privacy aspect still there. Be sure to stay till the end. It still should be a pretty short video. Let's go ahead and get started on this trip here. We got a little bit of a drive up to New York and hopefully the weather's not going to be too bad but upstate New York is normally pretty horrible. So let's see what we got. make you actually kind of like stop to try to get pretty cool shots and it kind of makes the trip a little bit more interesting because you're going to see a lot of stuff that you may not have seen if you just drove by like I wanted to stop at this little overlook here we are right on the outside of Williamsport I believe in Pennsylvania but I mean look at the the view behind me it is just absolutely gorgeous all the way out you can see a couple miles out there and it is it is pretty awesome you can actually start seeing snow way way out there on the very tip of those mountains which is pretty cool So we are heading up to New York for the holidays. We are gonna also be filming a vlog. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be on growing up with firearms in New York. It's gonna be a blast. You're not gonna wanna miss it. All right guys, so we are heading up to a little behind the scenes for you guys there. Trip makes a little bit better with a little uh, crackhead looking chihuahua on your lap, I will say makes the trip pretty solid. <laughs> We're looking at uh, about three hours and 30 minutes left. And it really is a gorgeous drive. 
even when, as you guys can see, kind of it's it's not too great outside. It's kind of gray. It's cold out. It's still a really nice area. Pennsylvania is a beautiful place. And although New York may not be as free, upstate New York is also a pretty beautiful place. So actually driving through it, it does look pretty nice. Here at my old house, this is actually my bedroom that I grew up in. We've been here for a couple of days. It is Christmas day right now. So we're running around and doing some family stuff. For those of you guys out there that don't know, I started shooting when I was about seven years old. I was in this bedroom in particular, and in that closet right back there is where I had my very first gun safe and where I purchased my first rifle, which was a Savage Mark II. 22 long rifle that I got from Dix. I was always very, very interested in firearms for a very young age. And today you guys are gonna see where I actually used to shoot my entire life, starting at seven years old. So when I started getting into it, it was really mainly just air guns. It was BB guns, pellet guns, whatever. And I loved pretty much anything that was involved with firearms. But I'm not gonna lie guys, what ultimately ended up happening is I kind of got out of the firearms world there for quite a few years of my life. Growing up in this state, it's kind of difficult to be into firearms. I would start shooting pellet guns and BB guns and I had a blast doing that, but ultimately it kind of gets old after a while. So what started to happen is as I would grow up, get into different hobbies, I got out of the firearms world because it's such a taboo here in the state of New York. And that's really unfortunate for me to say because I wish I had an experience all throughout my life that was never a break in firearms. I always would pick up an air gun every now and again and you know plink some cans in the backyard. But if you're under the age of 18 and you don't hunt, which I didn't do really any hunting throughout my teenage years, like I said guys, it's pretty damn difficult to actually get into owning or shooting real firearms here in the state of New York. Once I turned 18, I had a rekindled excitement with firearms because I could finally buy and own my own. After all of these years of living in this state, growing up and dreaming, literally just looking at YouTube videos and dreaming about owning a first firearm, I was finally able to make that dream come true when I turned 18. And ever since then, I have been just all the way immersed into the industry and that's what I absolutely love. We're gonna take a trip here really quickly to where I grew up shooting and you guys are gonna see the range and everything. It's not so much a range, more of a pile that I grew up shooting at with my grandfather. So let's take a look at where I started. Where we're walking right now, this was actually where I took my very first shots with my first firearm ever. It was right here behind us at this little junk pile. We're on my grandparents' land. I grew up on this farm here in upstate New York and it was an absolute blast. I can't even tell you the excitement when my grandfather took me out here for the very first time to shoot one of his revolvers and then we would shoot clay pigeons and go hunting. It was probably one of the best times in my life. Now obviously I would still come here and shoot every now and again whenever I could, but like I said, it becomes more of a taboo. Out here on the farm, it's a lot easier to do that, but this is a very, very niche type of place here in upstate New York. 
New York, there's not many places like it. And back in these fields back here and in the woods, that was where I would go hunting with my grandfather. And this is really where I started. And I'm so happy to bring you guys along with that. And it's a very special place for me. And I try to come back here as much as I possibly can. It definitely is uh, bittersweet leaving the house up in New York because it's awesome to come down here. We're at the Pennsylvania Welcome Center right now. And to come down is just like a breath of fresh air to come to the awesome state of Pennsylvania. Honestly, just seeing that Welcome to Pennsylvania sign ever since I was younger and coming over and seeing all the firework shops and everything like that, it was always a symbol of freedom to me. It is also a little bit bitter because saying goodbye to my family and leaving them up there is always tough. For those of you guys out there that don't live in the same state as your family members, you fully understand how difficult that is to leave them every year and it just starts getting tougher and tougher to actually go back and see them. So it's always awesome to see my family, really tough to leave. This welcome center up here by Mansfield is always absolutely gorgeous. And guys, the best part is yet to come from coming home and I will show you guys that here in a little bit. It was an awesome Christmas. We got some awesome presents from the family. It was so great for them to actually support everything that I do. I would not be anywhere I am today without the support of my family members and you guys will see some of that support coming here soon on the channel with some camera gear. So guys, I just wanted to show you this beautiful landscape. We stop here up by Mansfield all the time at this welcome center and it's always great. Pennsylvania is just a great place to be. It's a great place to live and for firearms, it's a great place for freedom. My very favorite thing about finally coming to my lovely home here in Pennsylvania is being able to grab my VP9 and actually concealed carry and protect myself and my family. Unfortunately, because of New York's crazy laws, I cannot bring my VP9 up there with me. I couldn't even take with me this little Beretta 25 ACP, even this would land me a felony without a New York State pistol permit, which I cannot obtain unless I am actually a resident of the state of New York. Now, obviously now I'm a resident of the state of Pennsylvania, so unfortunately I'm out of luck. I cannot tell you the breath of fresh air that it is to actually be able to carry a firearm on my person and exercise my Second Amendment right. And the fact that I'm able to come back to Pennsylvania and legally own this monstrosity of an AK, this RPK here from Atlantic Firearms with a 75 round drum magazine just makes me feel so amazed that just a couple hours over the border, this setup here would land you potentially 10 years in federal prison. I cannot tell you the amount of excitement I got once I became a resident of Pennsylvania, walked into a gun store, and was finally able to fully exercise my Second Amendment rights. It's crazy to me that this Ruger 1022 here that I actually purchased 
in New York would then become illegal with just this piece of plastic on the bottom of it, which is a 25 round box magazine. I wanted to make this vlog to showcase the reality of what it's like to grow up in New York with an interest in firearms. At times it can be a taboo and you have to kind of whisper about learning about things like an RPK on YouTube or something like that. You, you can't even really freely talk about it without somebody double looking and, and, and thinking you're talking about the scary assault rifles that really you have a right to own. And it really is crazy to move down to this free state of Pennsylvania and see the polar opposite, to be able to finally exercise the rights that I dreamed about my entire life. And really here in the United States, we have some very interesting laws state to state. But I hope one day there will be some common sense brought back to the state of New York and maybe all of my fellow patriots up in the state of New York will finally get their rights back. I wanna thank you so much for watching this vlog and if you did enjoy it, let me know down in the comments section because if you did, I will be making more of these. Head down to that description and check out the Firearm Freedom Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram account. We do daily posts on all three of those and on the Instagram account, we actually do two live streams per week, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. If you enjoy the content that's coming out here on the YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more great videos to come soon.